We are live, my dear. Hello and welcome to an inspiration pop-up tonight. Hello, Bridget. Hello, Julia, to Germany. Yes. So we have a wonderful subject for each one of you today. We are talking about use your intuish, intuition. Oh, this is so difficult because intuition in Deutsch. Yeah. <laughs> so how do you use your intuition or when does it come to use your intuition in which? So time? it's when the subconscious communicates with the conscious. So what that means is it's when you are not using the analytical part of the brain. Hence the reason something like this mindfulness meditation retreat that I've started is something very, very good to do. Meditation is such a good way to be more mindful because all of us, the beautiful thing is about intuition. Every single human on the planet has got it, number one. Number two, It's been scientifically proven because it sounds, I think there was a point where people thought it was a bit like, you know, um, sort of out there, as opposed to it's been scientifically proven that it does exist because it's connected to your gut and your emotions. So if your yeah, head we, gets out the way, which I don't know how it does because it's very hard, if you can get the head out the way, yeah. you know stuff, you know stuff. Yeah, and that's sometimes what is like in a, a little competition with your mind and your guts. Ne? And so you say guts, we say belly feeling, Bauchgefühl. So that you trust what you feel really deep inside in yourself. And um, and you know as well if you if you have like pains or you feel like kind of depression or whatever, then it is also sometimes a disbalance between your guts and your mind. No. Yeah, I I just I think that I don't, I don't know I don't know how your weekend was and I don't know how you know your last week was because we always do this on a Monday, but I since. Thinking about this topic, I've really been mindful of it in so many different situations. And one of the key things is before you do anything is just to have that silence, that silence where you are just sitting with something and allowing it to go through you to get that feeling of it before you react to it. In saying that, it doesn't work if you are angry, because if you're angry, that, that anger is so overwhelming, everything is clouded. It's, it's impossible to rational, you know? That's very important. And if we, also if there are some people who say, yeah, but I don't really feel it, this intuition, is there like a physical feeling you really feel in your guts when you know that's my intuition? You know, the thing is when something is negative and I, and I know you and I have spoken about this before because I've definitely experienced this, but when something is negative, I don't know if, if you've ever walked past somebody and you suddenly your heart's racing or you, or you get, um, you get a creepy feeling or you don't know this person, you've literally just walked past them, but you just get this feeling. So you get that, there's no thought process at all. And I think the same thing happens When it's a good feeling, you meet somebody, whether it's a, a, maybe a potential client, maybe mm. it's a, a friend, but you meet somebody and that first meeting, just inside, it just feels right. It's, it's such a hard yeah. thing to explain. Yeah. But and you know when it's good, wrong. It's such a good feeling and you know you will meet this person again or you will perhaps create something as we did like yes. four years ago. Exactly. Exactly. And I think when it, when you should listen to it the most is when you, when you're getting that, um, you know, when your heart's racing, I don't know if you've ever had that when you've had your heart racing, you've been in situations, you can't pinpoint it, but you know, beyond a shadow of a doubt, something's up, but you don't know what, but you know, something doesn't feel right. Mm -hmm. I mean, think about when you took over logo. Yep. There must have been some intuition of thing or thought going on. There must have been, right? Yeah, it was not really, um, yeah, really visible at that time. Yeah, but it, yeah, for sure it was something that was like a kind of a, um, 
yeah, of a starting point for something new. And that's why when you are sitting in that kind of quandary, if you can just sit with yourself in silence with, with just breathing, it's so invaluable to get that clarity. So yeah. invaluable. Yeah. Yeah. And if you want to get clarity in your intuition, then we are happy to help and you can contact us under the video or leave a comment under, uh, under the video, how you feel your intuition. And we are happy to start a little discussion. See you next week. Yeah. And have a good Easter. Oh, yes. Celebrate Easter. Celebrate your creative life. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Bye.